Thank you, Spot. Um, you are a good companion, and uh, it's great to be here today. Uh, currently, the metaverse is seen as a gaming platform, but Hyundai think the possibility of the metaverse in infinite. The metaverse will expand the world we live in. When uh, the metaverse becomes more uh, commonplace in the future, it will occupy an important space in our uh, daily issues, uh, daily lives. So you mean that moving through a virtual space will become as normal as moving through a physical space one day? Exactly. Um, and then we can uh, completely change the way we think about movement uh, from a technology perspective combining our robotics with the metaverse will have a huge impact. Our mobility solutions will be expanded into what we call meta mobility. This is not only for uh, providing freedom, it's movement, movement in the physical world, but also uh, for moving us to a new uh, reality within the metaverse. Hyundai and Boss Dynamics believe in investing in R&D for the real future. And our goal, you know, and I know the, the chairman is involved heavily in this, our goal is to make the next generation of robots, not just the ones you see here today and that we're gonna make tomorrow, but future generations of robots happen by inventing the technology that's needed to do that. And uh, that's gonna lead to building robots of our dreams. We're gonna have to create technology like the technology that's in Spot the Robot out here and the other ones we've been showing, Stretch and Atlas, that uh, we call athletic intelligence. Mm -hmm. That's the ability to balance, to climb stairs, to move in any kind of terrain. It's also the ability to, dex to use dexterous manipulation to handle objects in the world and also achieve situational awareness which means using your sensors to understand what's happening around you in a way so that you can uh, operate. And I think it's gonna be a while till our robots uh, go into space, but we are working with the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory who's uh, using our robots to explore autonomies. They have them roaming around tunnels and caverns in order to uh, see what the communications uh, aspects and the autonomy problems are. And uh, you know, we're really excited about that work, and that work that could eventually be taken to Mars or to the moon or someplace like that. I think that the idea of robots in space is actually a good starting point for just thinking about the advanced mobility uh, that they can provide us here on Earth. We plan to introduce advanced robotic technology into a wide variety of mobility systems, from directly into robots themselves, as we've been talking about, but also into cars and into urban air mobility vehicles, and maybe even into machines designed for direct human mobility. Check out the plug and drive module, or PND for short. The PND module is all in one solution that combines intelligent steering, braking, and electric drive, and suspension in single wheel unit. Thanks to PND's infinite wheel rotations, and possible autonomy movement, the PND platform can move around freely and gracefully like a figure skater. I like that visual image of a figure skater kind of moving around. Can you explain to us a little bit about what makes PND unique? <laughs> yes. The regard to uniqueness, we can add mobility to anything just by attaching PND module. From small table to large containers, PND makes mobility extremely expendable. What's more, customers have choices. They can select various drive configurations and platform sizes based on their requirement. The PND module will individualize public transportation to meet very specific needs. Imagine traveling in your personal mobility cabin from the airport to your home. The pod is attached to the mother shuttle for the most of the journey. But for the rest mile to your home, the party is detached and goes directly to your front door. But uh, the way we look at it, it's not the end of the car as we know it, but it's the beginning of the car as we will know it. 
some cars will evolve from mobility devices into smart devices, just like every smartphone, but on a larger scale. And through enhanced robotics, they will grow into a smart access platform. Let's consider the car. We are already transforming it into a new living space. The metaverse will enrich that experience. At any moment, you can enjoy entertainment, play 3D video games, or participate in meetings. The possibilities are endless. Because robots are ready and waiting for us to connect to them through the metaverse. They are physical avatars, and they are designed to act just like the way I act in the metaverse. In the future metaverse, with the advancement of sensors, actuators, artificial intelligence software and hardware, we'll be able to control and guide our companion robots as if we were actually there. And that's what it means to use robots as physical avatars. Simply put, the metaverse is about virtually being there, whereas Hyundai is about physically acting there and enjoying the physical experience through a robot's physical presence. Let's say I'm at a future CES show in Las Vegas, and I will enter the digital twin of my home in South Korea. With my physical avatar, companion robot in Korea, I can hug and feed my dog. And I can feel all the joy of being right next to my dog back home in South Korea. All comes to in the, com in the concept called metamobility. By connecting robots to metaverse, we'll be able to move freely between both worlds. Imagine you are a facilities engineer for a global company like Hyundai with many factories around the world, and every repair at a factory involves a trip. You and your team of engineers have to fly around the world to make on-site inspections and repairs. Imagine the specialist managing factory equipment remotely, like we saw today, uh, retooling an assembly line in Asia from an office in the US. Or imagine physical assets and business applications connecting and communicating with each other. This enhances visibility, understanding, and to unlock real-time insights. It lets us anticipate what exactly what is needed to build these greater products. It drives efficient and sustainable operations. And as we have shown, uh, Mark specifically, I think, highlighted it, uh, provides a safe environment for workers and consumers and so forth. And it really brings this customer experience to the next level, uh, being able to interact and integrate between what you see and what you could imagine. And bringing those together, I think, seamlessly is where we are going with this metaverse concept. The other thing that we've done to get started on the vision you've described is used immersive uh, systems where an operator is immersed in a space, not only with their eyes, but also with their hands. And at the other end, there's a robot that's doing precise manipulation because you have this very direct connection, even though there's a, a network in between, between the two. So it, it's really exciting. That's the idea behind metamobility. We can move anywhere and in physical and virtual worlds. Move humans beyond limitation. Move things beyond imagination. Progress for humanity challenges us to invent new technology that improves human condition. To unite our resources, to integrate new businesses, and to forge new partnerships. With our robotics, we will expand human reach.